What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to part three of the walkthrough, and it's time for our next main mission, The Beast Born of Smoke and Flames. Now, this is a great mission because it's going to unlock the blacksmith, which honestly is half of all the time you'll spend playing Neo. So let's jump on in. Uh, this mission is a pretty tricky boss. Uh, we fought him back in, in some of the betas, so some of you may already know what to expect from this guy. So, right up at the start, let's go on in and hit the shrine. Now, as with any mission, before we start... Hey, there we go. Now we can manage soul cores. Uh, so, while we have this menu, let's talk about this. First up, we have soul fusion. Soul fusion is going to allow us to combine stuff. Now, looking at these Enkis, I can see this one's level 14, this one's 2. So, this one's going to give me a bigger attack boost. So, what I'm going to do is, first, I'm going to actually attune him. And I'll replace my current Enki. And then I'm going to fuse him. So I'm going to take this Enki, and he's going to gobble up this little Enki. And you'll see how my Soul Core rank, right under the attack and defense, that's going to go up from 2 to 4. And as you increase the rank, all the special effects on the Soul Cores will go higher. So I'll go from an Anima bonus for damage taken of C up to C+. Plus. Uh, any Soul Cores that you have that you don't want, we do Resting Rights. This is going to grant you Shifting Skill Points. Um... Once, in general, I'll try and max out a soul core first. After I've maxed it out, everything else gets hit with the resting rights, unless it's like a solid upgrade and something that I want. Uh, all right, so let's go get this. Get the item. Uh, actually, we didn't even check our loot. Did we get any, pick up anything? Oh, big old wooden hammer, let's do it. Wooden hammer, we'll keep this. Actually, how do you compare to the black steel axe? Ooh, a black steel axe has 219, even though it's a lower level. I like it, we're using the black steel axe. Um, here, let's look for inheritables. Nothing really noteworthy. Let's check through gear, because it is important to keep up with gear. So, if we swap, we're losing our bullseye bonus. I'm not that worried about it. Let's go for this. We're gonna keep on this. This is looking pretty good level wise. Let me sort this by level. Um, plus six attack. Untouched, untouched. Um, there's more humans in this level, so we'll go with this guy. And as for you, hmm, you're heavy. You're really heavy. You're too heavy, in fact. Hmm, I don't really need stealth. Uh, I can't put those on. These will work. My toughness will go down slightly, but I'll gain more defense. And then we're also going to uh, unlock this stuff so that I can break it down once I get access to the blacksmith. Uh, and since I'm taking that out of the equation, I really want to put that on, but I can't rock that. So we're going to keep that guy on for now. Just unlocking this stuff. And you can see what I was talking about in the first episode where I said, you know, this stuff isn't going to really give me an advantage. Already, we're, we're on to, like, the, the third mission, and it's all been replaced. So, oop, and we're back into B agility. This is why we're playing Axe, because we can put everything in stamina. All right, so go on up and kill these two guys. Wait for him to whiff, get our final blow. Spend the wing! That move's actually super risky right now. Uh, come late game, it's going to be one of the strongest abilities in our loadout, but for the time being, it's 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 really risky to use that. Anyway, until uh, we kill the two guys, I don't think we can do anything right here yet, but we can break this and get some arrows. Kill this guy up here. And, and there should be a... Come on down. Good oh boy. Give me those... Give me that money. Alright, so... Let's see. An enemy will ambush from the ceiling. Let me go over here and spend some points. Uh, we're gonna pick up Running Water Man. That allows us to dodge in mid-stance. And over an axe. Let's go get oh god i guess cloud crush cloud crush is a fun ability 
Um, so let's see, uphill, and we're gonna take a hard right when we get to the top of this. Actually, let me check items real fast, see if I have anything for ninjutsu yet. I do not. Nothing for ninjutsu or omyo. But I should get some in this mission. And we'll get our yokai cap. Now that we actually have abilities on. Yeah, rub that fuzzy kitty. Oh, I tried to cloud crush and he died before I could do anything. Let me check my notes here. Up the hill, Scampus, kill the two, and then go up top for a loot in the furnace room. I think this is a, yep, a regular one. Um, we are going to be keeping our eyes out for revenants. Revenants are a fantastic way to get new loot as you continue to play through the game. So always check the revenants. Kind of take a look at what they're wearing. See if there's anything that, that looks like something you'd want. Uh, so we're going to be using the purple bow, but we're keeping this one on for the... How it has an inheritable for bow damage. That's just a solid inheritable choice to have. All right, and now we're going to snipe a couple guys on the rooftops here. So this guy, he needs to die. Here and kick this. Oh, kill you first. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's okay. Calm down, little cat. Calm down. There we go. That. Let's get this. Kill him. And we don't want to kill everybody because we obviously want to be able to, to build up our axe skills. But I'm not jumping down there with like five guys and fighting them all. That's That's suicidal. I'm going to clip and I'll hit it. I won't actually get that guy. Um, all right. Well, let's go. I want to get a plunge. So if we're going to plunge on anything. Oh, hang on. Plunge the big guy or. Come on, get a little bit closer. A little bit closer, Adachi man. He's not. Okay, that's fine. Oh, my God. That is the opposite of what we wanted to happen. The other ones have not noticed us. And that's exactly why we wanted to snipe a couple and get a plunge off. Because as you can see, that dude did not care. He just bonked me instantly. Now, in cases like this, this is why we have uh, kicked down the ladder. We're not going to refight those two. We're not going to refight that guy. No, we kicked down this ladder. We're going to go right back up on this ladder. We're going to snipe those guys. And we're just going to continue on with our lives. So, this arrow to your head. An arrow to your head. An arrow to your head. And arrow, if I can come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Using our ability there. See how we're immune while we got that grapple going? There's our cloud crush. Beautiful. And now we want to go around back and get our first Kodama. All right, uh, should be a chest in here. And then loot in this building by this guy who is sleeping.
So you see, this is perfect here. This guy was an Odachi Revenant. He has a ton of purple gear. We are going to beat his ass. Look at that. Look at that stuff we just got. It's got a brand new longbow. And what other did you have? Nothing there. Nothing good there. Um, scout creeps. Put those on as well. This one, how it's all white, garbage. We're not using a scythe, so we're not worried about that. Uh, nah, I'm not worried about dual swords. All right. Um, let's see. You head up, grab loot behind the fence. What is this guy's name? Jojo Northstar. Jesus. And in here there should be a chest. Hmm. More defense, less toughness, stealth running speed, life. Um I'm not even getting my set bonus anymore. Um my toughness is still gonna be a B grade, so let's with that stealth will help out uh, and then we're gonna go here and there's that guy back there that chest is already looted let me see back up top run up ahead kill two then pop up in the shortcut back up top onto roof for kodama two okay oh. i've been playing so much that i'm like trying to go off of my own memory of the game as opposed to paying close attention to my notes, I should be. So kill that guy. This is a shortcut so that if we die in this next section, we can just run right on back. So get that open. And we want to go up here. Grab that loot and get Kodama number two. Up ahead is going to be an Epon to Tarith. These guys are... Pretty intense, to be honest. I think they're one of the more irritating yokai to fight. So, uh, if you want, don't feel bad. Summon on a thing. Let that uh, take the brunt of his attacks. Uh, basically, you should be dodging his attacks until you can get in a solid counter hit on him. That's going to be the best approach to this guy. Um, let's see. So, yeah. Let's just uh, let's go for it. With that. He has very wide swings. We're basically looking for an opportunity to hit him with our brute counter. He also has a grab attack that's terrifying when it connects. Yo, an Epondatara hammer this early. Let's go. Oh, man. So we have blessed weapons already with this, and we have a yokai weapon. Now let's talk about these. Yokai weapons all have corruption. Uh, they have a sentience bar, which you can see right under familiarity. This is essentially going to build on up, and then the weapon's going to awaken and talk to you and shit. But the biggest thing here is when you inflict enemies with corruption, you're going to absorb a portion of their key and their anima. When it builds all the way up, this weapon gets even stronger. So this is awesome to catch early on, especially because of the fact that uh, yokai weapons can be leveled up via soul matching with cores, as opposed to having to soul match them to other weapons, which makes them a little bit cheaper to level on up. So not sure if we're going to use it. I mean, I'm going to use this. I'll, I'll put a lock on it for now. Um, just not right now because it's level nine and my thing's level 10. Uh, now, blessed weapons, on the other hand, blessed weapons will uh, help to bottom out the key on an enemy. And as a good rule of thumb, what I would suggest is if you're fighting humans, corruption is going to be superior. If you're fighting yokai, blessed is going to be superior because just about every single yokai in the game is going to be resistant to corruption, all the bosses at least, which is when this stuff really matters. So something to keep in mind, that's not to say you can't get corruption on yokai bosses. It's just, in general, blessed will go up on them a lot easier and corruption on humans. 
Um, now that has life drain on final blow, which isn't too shabby. Um, I think we're going to we'll put this on just to get familiarity up on it. And then as for you, that's the wooden hammer from earlier. So we're going to keep with this axe we got for now. So let's pop this open, get this chest. And let's drop on down. And drop on down. And over here we have our blacksmith. Yeah, so she's going to come and find us. Uh, now we're going to murder this Gaki. Grab this. And we got another Gaki here. We're going to plunge. Hey, little guy, come on out. Kudamas will get scared if you attack nearby him, so it'll take a second. We're gonna head on ahead, grab this, grab this thing out in the water, and we're gonna get to our shrine. Right, leveling on up. Um, let's see, actually, I think I might put on that. Guy. Oh, that's right. I wanted my yokai ability damage, so we need a point in dex or in ninja. Let's do... I think one of these will give me a samurai skill point. No, so we'll go six and six. And then uh, I needed a point in, I believe it was strength for fire damage resist, which will actually be really, really useful in the coming counter. Either strength or constitution. Uh, so this build will scale off strength, which is solid. Constitution, on the other hand, will get us 35 in life. Let's do the strength. I'll benefit more from the strength. So having put those on, you can see our guardian spirit. Now all of his abilities are active, which is great. Uh, we're probably going to change you on out for... No, I can't due to the attunement cost. So see how that says it has a cost of seven? Uh, basically, I would need to replace my Mizuki, and I'm not doing that. So that ain't happening. Um, shift thing, let's see. Extends duration, reduce. Let's we're gonna pick up this and then go up to here. These are just gonna help with our key penalties, which are really nice. Um, as for axe, there's really not much I can do. Earth Carver, I'm not a giant fan of this ability. I just never vibed with it. Um, we're gonna pick up Roar and then that'll give us access to Southpaw, which is nice. So for this next portion, let's go ahead and get somebody to come along. No, actually, no, not yet. We'll, we'll see. Uh, we're going to go up here, kill this guy first. Bruh. Jesus. Oh, my God. Guys are scary. All right, and once we get in here, immediately we got a bunch of Gakis we need to tackle here. So, uh, let me see. Uh, Gakis and Yoki immediately circle around tight to the right for a dweller buy some loot. So we're gonna try and take some of these guys out very carefully here. Remember that if they have a chance to nom on each other, we're gonna get nice and buffed, so be very careful. See how he tried to eat him up there? guy over. Got 
Best time to use these things, dark route. It's going to dispel the dark round. Use another Anki Soul Core. There's the Yoki I was looking for. Now that the, the Dark Realm is gone, this guy isn't nearly as much of a threat as he was. Pick this up. All right, uh, so let's get the chest back by the Yoki. That was kind of like the hard mode clear. Um, in my notes, what I actually had was to loop around this way and go straight in here first, I think. Let me see. Hang on. Circle around tight to the right for a dweller, buy some loot, then go down the ladder. Okay, so we wanted to come this way. Kill this guy, get the loot. And we could have gone down here. Would have been a couple more dwellers that we have to kill, and a Kodama. Um, and then we would have blown up these guys, which we're still going to kill them anyway. This guy's on some bullshit. Did you see that? He just grabbed me. Right in the middle of that. No, stop. I don't even have anything. I don't have any antidotes yet. You antidotes? Yes, antidotes. Beautiful. Uh, this is actually worthwhile putting on as a shortcut early on. And we'll get this. Shrapnel bomb. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Waiting for one of these. Okay, uh, so we're gonna want to put our bombs on, and that's because using those bombs will help to get us access to uh, to ninjutsu points. Um, so let's see. Can chest go up? Follow the path around to kick down a ladder. So we're gonna go this way. <laughs> this kick this down and then if we had not killed it yet uh, which we already did could have gone right over here well this is good to be over here anyway because there's some stuff we're gonna we're gonna pop off actually I can't see him well anyway from right here you can actually plunge down you could have gotten a plunge kill on that uh, Anki that we alert on out. So you can see how it just said ninja locks used. So now that we got those, let's go into ninja. Um, we're going to put on some shurikens just to help unlock stuff. In general, we're going to be focusing on going down here and getting sneak attack. But having access to shurikens will allow us to unlock stuff faster because leveling up ninjutsu and omyo is based on you actually dealing damage with those abilities. So even if we're not doing a bunch of damage, we're just throwing them on out. Um, essentially, we're going to expend them when we have the chance to, and then that's just going to help get us more points that'll give us better stuff that we want to use. Okay, um, after bridge loop to the right for loot. Kill this guy. And there's going to be a Gaki. That'll try and ambush here. All right. Um, after bridge, Rikaki and loot, then go downstairs. Okay, I don't think there's anything in that house, but... Check. I don't think you can go in that house, can you? No, you can't. I just need to, I need to believe in my own notes here. Let's see, go downstairs. Two Gakis in a chest, and then we're going to trade with the Sudama, and we're going to go on up. Oh, 
Oh, that move is risky against humans. It messes up yokai. And here we have a Sudama. Now, these are like dark versions of Kodamas. Uh, the basic idea is you can drop an item for them and they'll give you something in return. So, I am going to sort things out by... Uh, what's that? Corruption. Level 14. And we're going to drop this thing. Usually, they'll give stuff along the same line. So, if you drop a weapon, they'll usually give a weapon. If you give an item, they'll usually give an item. Um, if you give them a soul core, there's a chance you can get a little Kodama soul core from them. And he gave me back Mountain Banded Hatchets. So, a level 14 purple set of hatchets. Pretty nice looking. Not going to use them because it's not the build I'm doing, but nice nonetheless. Uh, let's see. Trey with Sudama. So now we're going to fight across the rooftops and then drop and plunge the triple Gaki. That Gaki down. Let's see another Gaki up ahead. Him out of the way. Oh god, no. Not what I wanted to happen. It still kind of worked out because they're dumb and they went into the fire. So if I hadn't fallen right there, uh, you can do a plunge attack and kill all of those Gakis at the same time. Just one fat plunge attack. Alright, and we got a Scampus hiding in the basket. All right, and we have a Ipandatara here. So let's drink on up and... First thing we're gonna do is just run over here a little bit. We're gonna lure this guy away from fighting him right down there. You can come up here if you wanna die. I'm right here, come and get it, bro. I hate the damn hops. Oh my god. Ipan Datara does not mess around. Now you'll notice there's a soul core there on the ground. Uh, when you die, you not only will you drop your stuff, you'll also drop any soul cores that you possessed. Now if you're worried about whether or not you can get back, you can always go into items. And uh, under usable, you can pop a summoner's candle and that will summon your grave back to where you're at. But keep in mind that a lot of what we just went through was Dark Realm stuff. So, running back through here, you can see the Gakis aren't up, the Yoki isn't up, the Yankee isn't up. In fact, a majority of the stuff we fought is actually already dead. So, because of that, we're going to be able to just safely run back through the majority of this. Uh, these guys are going to be up, but they're not going to kite close enough. So, we're just going to get him to pop, go right back over, over here, and we'll have round two against him. Get his, uh, you can get that Adachi that he's using and a smithing text to craft it as you see fit. Uh, so with him done, um, up ahead, just pop these, maybe get some arrows, nothing. Uh, we got another axe, bro. Does this bow have, uh, it does have reduced attack on a ranged weapon. That's amazing. Get those spirit stones. 
And then we are going to cut to the left right here. Grab this little guy. Kick on down this ladder. And we are back to our shrine. So we're going to wrap things up here for now in this episode. Uh, in the next part, we're going to go through all the way up to take out the boss. And then uh, depending on how much time that takes, we may also do uh, another side mission. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and I'll catch you guys soon enough with episode four.